How's it going travelers? Welcome to another Starfield video. In today's video, I'm going to show you all on how to get your hands on 12 secret vendor chests which all have a ton of loot. Now, if you find any of the information in this video useful, you can go ahead and support me by getting this video to 25 likes. I'm also currently on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so if you're new to the channel, you can go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future Starfield content. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right into the guide. Now, we're going to head over to a few different systems and for the first system we're visiting, is Alpha Centauri and you want to head over to the Jemison and you want to go to the commercial district. Once you arrive at the commercial district simply follow the path I take and you want to just keep going in this straight line over here until you reach this little tree. Now I would recommend that you do this with a balanced boost pack as well as having all of the boost pack upgrades in the skill tree so you can do this a lot easier. Now once you've reached this point simply jump on top of this tree and from the tree go over to the roof of this building over here. Now when you're on the roof you want to simply go over towards this little wall over here and you, you can just walk inside of it, there's like a missing barrier. And once you're inside you'll be out of the map and you want to just turn around and run in the same direction that I run in. And if you look up simply you'll be able to see a secret chest right there, the first chest. And to get this one it's really easy, all you need to do is just run towards this chest and below it there's a floor. But you won't be able to see it from underneath until you actually go above the ground and you'll be able to see it. And you'll see what I mean here right now. You can see that orange ground and you want to actually just aim for that and stand on top of it which will allow you to just get the chest a lot easier. Um, I actually just jumped on top of the chest. You can either just uh, go up to it until you get the option to interact with it or just sit on top of it, whatever works for you. Once you've gone ahead and looted this first chest, simply turn around and go and jump back down from the same direction that you came from. And the reason I say that is because on your left here, there's a pool of water and if you get stuck inside, it'll like push you out of the map and you need to just do this whole thing again. So you see there, I almost went inside of the actual pool, but I managed to get myself out. You just want to stick to running towards the right over here and you can avoid this whole pool of water. Now just continue taking the same path as I take and uh, it'll lead you down this little hill over here. And you want to just simply jump down, but be careful, you don't want to break your legs or die or anything. So do use your boost pack on time. Once you've made it down here, the second vendor chest should be right in front of you. Now if you've already done this glitch before and these chests don't have anything inside of them, you simply just need to wait for 48 hours and that will refresh the chest. Continue taking the same pipe as I take and you'll reach the third vendor chest which is the Jemison Mercantile Vendor. This vendor has pretty much all of the resources that you need to craft your you know, bases, uh, armor, weapons. So I would recommend just like getting everything from this chest. This is some really good stuff here. Now for the final chest and new Jemison, we have the ship vendor and this vendor actually has a lot of credits inside of his chest. Now as for me, this vendor currently has no credits inside of his chest and that is purely because of the fact that I looted it before and like I said to refresh the vendor's inventory all you need to do is simply wait for 48 hours and go back to the vendor and his chest should be full of stuff again. Now just remember these vendors that I show you in today's video you can pretty much spend as much as credits you want on their inventory and you can get all your credits back from their chest and on top of that they will also have their own credits so you can pretty much get some extra loot that way. This also means that you can craft a ship entirely from scratch for free. Let's move on to the next set of secret chests. Now for these chests we want to go to the shiny system and we want to land at Aquila City. Once you land at Aquila, you want to start off by just going inside of the actual city. The moment you enter the city, you'll see the first shop on your left, Shepherd's General Store. Here's where we're going to get the next chest. And for this one, you simply want to go in third person and you want to find this puddle on screen right now. And in the bottom left corner of this puddle, there's a rock. And if you aim at this rock, you'll be able to loot Emerson Shepherd's chest. The vendors in Aquila City are probably one of the easiest ones to loot. So I would recommend that you get a ton of ammo from here, especially the ones that are really expensive. You can really stack up on a lot of them. Now, once you're done with that chest and you turn around, there's a bar behind you and you can also loot this bar for credits and some drinks as well. Now this bar, it didn't have any loot inside of it for me and if this was the case for you too and you've already looted it, you've waited out 48 hours, there's nothing there, all you need to do is just go and speak to the um, vendor and he should be located here on screen. For me, I couldn't actually speak to him because of a quest that was active in the area but like I said, all you need to do is just speak to him and all of his uh, items will reappear inside of the chest again. Now for the next chest, we want to turn around and we want to go to Roland Arms. This is also another easy chest that you can loot and it has a ton of ammo and weapons in there that you can steal and then sell. 
and get a lot of credits for it. So for this chest, simply position yourself in front of the stairs and in the bottom right corner of the stairs, there's these two rocks and in the middle of those two rocks, there's another rock. And if you look in that direction, you should be able to see the chest and you can pretty much go ahead and loot anything from this chest. Moving on to the final set of glitch, vendor chests. Now for this one, you want to head over to the volley system and in that system, there's a planet called Volley Alpha. On this planet, there's a city named Neon and you just want to go ahead and land there. When you land on Neon, simply you go through this bridge and there's going to be an elevator and you can take this elevator up into the actual city. Once you're inside of Neon, head toward the Trade Authority building and in front of this building there's a sign. Jump on top of this sign and from the sign you can make your way across on top of the Trade Authority building. Now immediately you'll notice that there's a missing barrier here which will allow you to go outside of Neon so you can have access to an extra 5 chests. For these chests you're definitely going to need your boost pack training fully maxed out so you can do this a lot easier. But there's going to be 2 chests in this direction that I'm heading towards so just simply follow the path I take. You're not going to really need grab dash, I'm just using it because it makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, you can just use a boost pack and just gradually get over here. So if you look up from here, you're going to see another set of two chests. To loot these chests, you can simply boost pack and hit the ceiling. And once you've hit the ceiling, you can just go and loot as quickly as possible by spamming X or whatever you're on. And then you can do the same with the other chest. But if you don't manage to do it, that's fine because you'll just fall back into the actual city and you can just go and do this again. Once you've gone ahead and looted those two chests, simply you fall out of the map so you can respawn back inside of the map. And then you want to go back out of the map again. And this time you want to go towards your left and keep going in the same direction as I go in and you'll eventually reach the next set of three chests. Once you reach this third chest in this area, you can just mantle this wall and you can loot the chest easily from up here. Now, as I previously mentioned, you can go ahead and farm all of these chests by just simply waiting out 48 hours and the vendor's chest will all be refreshed. Once you've looted that chest, you can head over here towards this platform where you'll find the final set of two chests. Now, you can loot these two chests by doing the method that we use for the other two chests or you can just loot them one at a time like I'm doing here and you just need to make sure that you land on somewhere where there's a barrier so you don't fall out of the map. From here, you can just make your way back up top. You won't be able to see the barriers but you once you actually get to that level you'll see it and you can stand on it from here just go and loot another one and that's all 12 chests inside of star fuel that you can currently loot Now I believe we've reached the conclusion of this video. So as I previously mentioned, if you've waited out 48 hours already and there's still nothing inside of the chest, you just simply need to go back and just speak to all of the vendors one by one and it will refresh all of their chests. Make sure that you sell everything that you loot to earn a juicy pile of credits. Now if you found any of the information in this video useful, you can go ahead and support me by getting this video to 25 likes. I'm also currently on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future Starfield content. Content. Now as always have a wonderful day and peace out.